The Dogon people, an indigenous tribe of Mali in West Africa, have a rich cultural heritage and a deep knowledge of astronomy, including the star system Sirius. The Dogon have an oral tradition that dates back thousands of years, and they have been studying the night sky for generations. According to their oral tradition, the Dogon learned about Sirius from beings known as the Nomos, who they believe came to Earth from the Sirius star system. The Nomos are said to have taught the Dogon about the Sirius star system, including its complex orbit and the existence of a third star, Sirius B, which is invisible to the naked eye. The accuracy of the Dogon's knowledge of Sirius has been the subject of much debate among scholars, with some arguing that it's evidence of extraterrestrial contact, while others attribute it to the Dogon's own observations and astronomical knowledge. Some have also suggested that the Dogon's knowledge of Sirius may have been influenced by contact with European astronomers in the 19th and 20th centuries. Regardless of the source of their knowledge, the Dogon's understanding of the Sirius system is impressive and reflects their deep connection to the natural world and the cosmos. Even Harvard University came forward and said that the tribe's claims were impressive. They said the following on their website. The cause of all the commotion was the claim that the Dogon believed that Sirius has a dark, invisible companion with a 50-year orbit. The companion is very heavy and made of a special metal which is not found on Earth. This is an accurate description of our knowledge of Sirius B after it was observed with powerful telescopes and described by scientists using the theories of quantum mechanics and relativity. End quote. Another scientist detailed that the Dogon tribe isn't just educated on Sirius, but said that they detailed impressive knowledge about planets within our solar system, stating that they knew that Jupiter had various moons and that Saturn has rings made up of space debris. They also agreed that the tribe's knowledge of Sirius is impressive and that many of the details they gave matches recent discoveries. As mentioned, various theories have been put forward for why the tribe has this knowledge, but scholars have said that further research is needed in order to come to a conclusive answer. A mysterious giant blinking object has been detected near our galaxy's center. Nothing is more mysterious and unreachable than space. Despite decades of intensive study and research, scientists have only explored about 4% of the visible universe. An estimated 25,000 light years from Earth, Astronomers have found a star that appeared to blink out of existence for several months before suddenly reappearing. This unique star was affectionately named VVV WIT08 and is thought to belong to a completely new class of stars altogether. This newly discovered star type is unexplainably enormous, reportedly 100 times the size of our Sun. While the blinking is thought to be caused by an unknown orbiting body that eclipses the star once every few decades. The name of the star appears to be a highly scientific smash-up of important letters. WIT actually stands for, what is this? The case of VVV WIT08 has baffled astronomers. Not only is this star the first of its kind, but no one can explain what exactly could be eclipsing it from sight. The most prominent theory is that this orbiting object could be a planet or even another star, surrounded by a thick, opaque disk of dust locked in an orbit around VVV WIT08. This theory is supported by the discovery of a few other giant stars that disappear for months or even years at a time. The most famous example is Epsilon Aurigae, a supergiant star that is nearly eclipsed for up to 730 days at a time and another giant star known as TYC 25056721 is regularly eclipsed for a whopping 3.5 years. There are certainly more to be found, but the challenge now is in figuring out what the hidden companions are and how they came to be surrounded by disks, despite orbiting so far from the giant star, said astronomer Lee Smith of the University of Cambridge. In doing so, we might learn something new about how these kinds of systems evolve. Astronomers find seven dwarf galaxy groups. Dwarf galaxies are small bundles of stars, containing between 1,000 and up to several billion stars. This might sound like a lot, but our own Milky Way galaxy has between 200 and 400 billion stars in it alone. 
This can make these dwarf galaxies up to 1,000 times smaller than our own galaxy. Researchers have never had too much evidence for this theory, though it is often believed that galaxies are formed when dwarf galaxies merge together. This was until 2017, when a research paper was published giving us some more evidence to back up these claims. Data was collected from the Sloan Digital Sky Survey, alongside a handful of optical telescopes. This allowed a team of astronomers to begin their research, a process that began with the observation of seven individual distinctly separate groups of dwarf galaxies. The team noted that the conditions of these dwarf galaxies were perfect to observe and see if they could in fact merge, morphing into one larger galaxy, with the possibility of a spiral galaxy like our Milky Way also being considered. This research could give us substantial evidence to support our claims that what we consider mature galaxies today were once much smaller galaxies billions and billions of years ago. Sabrina Steervolt, an astronomer with the National Radio Astronomy Observatory and the University of Virginia in Charlottesville, explained that we know the universe needs to bring small galaxies together to form a bigger one, but that up until now we could not prove it or show how it happened. She continued to say, For the first time, we have found examples of the first steps in this process. Entire populations of dwarf galaxies that are all bound together in the same general neighborhoods. The team analyzed the data gathered from the SDSS in excruciating detail, looking for dwarf galaxies that looked as though they could be interacting with one another. The team were keeping their eyes peeled for pairs that could be part of bigger assemblies of alike galaxies. Further research was then conducted to put these images into perspective, with the Magellan Telescope in Chile, the Apache Point Observatory in New Mexico, and the Gemini Telescope in Hawaii being used to check that these dwarf galaxies are similar distances from Earth, not just aligned, as this could suggest that they are gravitationally bound together. It is hoped that this study provides some more data for future research groups studying groups of dwarf galaxies. This can offer a glimpse into how galaxies are formed and possibly help people to predict future formation patterns. Astronomers have discovered a nearby super-Earth in the habitable zone. The possibility of a habitable planet out there in our universe, or any universe, is an intriguing notion for many people. Would there be life already on the planet? Could humans emigrate there to live if necessary? It is human nature to want to know we are not alone. Astronomers in Hawaii have recently discovered a new super-Earth using the National Observatory of Japan's Subaru Telescope. The planet, named Ross 508b, orbits a red dwarf named Ross 508. Before we get too much further, let's go over a few key things. First off, what is a super-Earth? Super-Earth does not mean the makeup of a planet is better than Earth. It is a classification of planets not in our solar system that are heavier than Earth and lighter than Neptune and Uranus. A super-Earth can be between 2 and 10 times the size of Earth. A red dwarf is the most common star in the galaxy. It's small, as its name suggests, and not as hot as the other stars. What makes the combination of Ross 508 and Ross 508b newsworthy? They are only 36.5 light-years away. Ross 508b is a planet four times the size of Earth, and considering what we already know about the mass limit of planets, it's likely a terrestrial planet, meaning its surface is rocky and not formed of gases. It's also in the habitable zone, but this does not mean it can necessarily support life. The habitable zone refers to the distance from its orbital star, therefore creating the correct temperature to have liquid water present on the surface of the super-Earth planet. If Ross 508b cannot support life for certain, why is there so much buzz about it? Finding a little planet orbiting a dim star is no small feat. The discovery of Ross 508b shows off the success of the technique and tools used to search for exoplanets. This means we could be a few steps closer to finding an Earth 2.0, just in case this one doesn't pan out for our species. But what do you make of these recent discoveries? Be sure to let us know your thoughts in the comment section below and help us grow this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. 
Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.